Diffusion is the tendency of particles to move from regions of high concentration to low concentration. And effusion is the tendency of gas particles to escape through tiny holes, holes of very small diameter, into a vacuum. So um, diffusion is when I have um, lots of gas particles on one side of a partition and a vacuum on the other. And a vacuum just means that there are no gas particles. Uh, and when I remove the partition, these particles will slowly move from the side where there are a lot of them to the side where there are not very many. Effusion is um, where I have lots of gas particles on one side of the partition again, but now the partition has a small hole in it. And so the rate at which these gas particles can pass through that hole is uh, based on how, how much mass they have. Um, and so we can calculate the rate of effusion for different particles based on their mass. Diffusion, when I have two, um, two different gases, diffusion describes the uh, mixing of the gases if I were to open the barrier between them. So the white ones will slowly move over here, and the um, red ones will slowly move over here. You can notice in this one that uh, the white ones are, are hydrogen, H2, and the red ones are oxygen, O2. We can see from the picture that the white ones moved over much faster than the red ones because the white ones um, have a smaller molar mass, and smaller molar mass means that they can diffuse faster. Here is a simulation of some gas particles in a box. So um, you can see the particles are kind of bouncing around in this container. This is what gases do. They can spread out within their container and kind of bounce around and hit the walls of the room, hit the ceiling, hit the floor, hit each other, and kind of bounce around like this. So if I have two different gases that are separated by this partition like this, and I remove this divider. Then you can see that slowly the blue ones will make their way over into the red and the red ones will slowly make their way over into the blue. So this process by which these two gases, these two different gases mix is called diffusion. And um, in this simulation I started both of them out at the same mass and the same radius and the same temperature and the same amount of particles. So they mixed pretty evenly um, or any way they should because all of their numbers are the same. So if I start another simulation here and put a hundred particles in each side again but this time I make the blue ones weigh half as much as the red ones, and I remove the divider, what do you think is going to happen? Well, the blue ones will move more quickly, and they'll move into the red space quicker than the red ones will move into the blue space, because those blue ones have a smaller mass, which means that um, at the same temperature, they're generally moving faster than ones that have a higher mass. So in general, smaller particles that have less mass diffuse faster. Effusion is the tendency of gas particles to escape through tiny holes, sometimes called pinholes, into a vacuum. So smaller particles diffuse faster. When I remove the partition, they'll mix faster. And smaller particles with less mass will also effuse faster which means that they, they will leave through this pinhole at a faster rate than particles that have a larger mass. So we can see this um, if you've ever filled up a balloon with helium before. You know that if you fill up a helium balloon after a few days, 
the balloon seems to have lost all of its helium. The helium seems to have somehow leaked out of the balloon. But if you fill up a balloon with air, um, it will stay inflated for a much longer time. That's because there are small holes in the rubber of the balloon, even though it seems solid. There are tiny holes, and the helium particles have less mass than the particles of air, which are oxygen and nitrogen. So the helium particles can effuse faster through the balloon, through the small holes in the balloon, and so it seems to deflate faster. It seems to run out of um, gas quicker than the balloon that's filled with air. We can calculate the rate of effusion um, as being equal to the inverse of the square root of the molar mass. So if I know the molar mass, for example helium, then helium has a molar mass of 4, the square root of 4 is 2, so the rate of effusion is 1 over 2 for helium. So we can calculate the rate of effusion if we know the molar mass, and we can calculate the ratio of these rates if we know the molar masses of two gases.